Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as earlier mentioned, standing before you this afternoon is Dele Solomon Idowu to present a capstone project titled Ecological Restorations on Municipal Public Park Lands, Assessing Leaf Community Tree Planting uh, in York Region. Sorry, one second, just a bit of a technical difficulty here. You could just bear with us. Okay. So I think we just press that one, this one right there. Sorry, sorry for that breaking transmissions. Uh, by way of introductions, I did my uh, internship with uh, LEAF. These are uh, very far uh, by engaging or uh, participating in the tree uh, planting event across the GTA cities uh, with the uh, showers and stuff and uh, um, other activities I was engaged with them. Uh, essential stra uh, strategies to help reduce the loss of forest cover in urban forestries include afforestations, reforestations, and uh, restorations. Series uh, Policy Working Group 2004 defined uh, ecological restoration as an approach to recover, to recover degraded, damage, or destroy ecosystem. Uh, one of the organizations that has been involved in ecological restoration is LEAF, that has been engaging in uh, uh, urban, uh, engaging to urban, uh, enhance the urban forest and engaging communities about native uh, na native plants since uh, 2014 across the uh, GTA. And uh, in life, there's always a challenge. Challenges associated with trees and shrub restorations, efforts by faced by leaves, including uh, wildlife interactions, uh, soil quality, lack of biodiversity, invasive species, uh, insufficient planning and monitoring, limited resources. And uh, apart from this, apart from the fact that tree, uh, uh, tree uh, planting is time demanding to establish a trees and also expensive to implement and maintain. Thus, assessing the sources of ecological re restoration project is critical to justify its use for naturalization to improve best practices uh, for leave. The overall goals to, uh, of this project was to uh, assess leaf approach to community tree planting and naturalization in North York, and why the specific objectives include uh, practices uh, to assess practices and relative sources of leaf CTP program based on review of tree survivor uh, for the past two years post planting, and also to identify areas where tree planting can be improved and provide guidelines for leaves future naturalized natural restoration project. Uh, the settings here is uh, uh, the uh, one of the events at uh, Whitby where the tree planting activities uh, took place in the, this fall. The method. The method for this study, uh, your, the study area, York region, is located between city of Toronto and uh, Lake Cinco uh, towards the southern Ontario. And the uh, York region is a uh, has a total land mass of about 25% uh, of a total GTA land area, which is uh, 1,762 square kilometer. Also, York region is an area with vast land of forest with over 2,070 square uh, hectares of uh, forest land. The sample size and experimental design. The sample size for this study is about 30, is 35 plots, while the experimental design used for this study is a multi-stage sampling techniques. And in the, in the first stage, 
York region is uh, purposely choosing out of five regions that are made up of uh, GTA areas as well. Uh, while in the second stage, uh, York region made up of nine municipals. Uh, out of these nine municipal, three municipal were, was also purposely choosing Richmond, Hill King, and Markham. Why out of uh, these three municipal 35 plots were established as can be said in the diagram. The main reason why the, uh, uh, the, the region and the municipal were purposely chosen is just because of the corporations received by the by leaf from the, both the municipal and the region to establish a successful tree planting activities in their parklands. Data collection. Leaf info on community planting areas and planting practices were used, and the tree survivor in one or, and two years after planting were determined accordingly. And uh, this is a site uh, after planting where I mean, the survivor and the planting was monitored. Uh, planting native species is essential for naturalization, and certain factors were considered by leaf. And these factors include topography of the, of the site, sun direction, sampling size, species diversity, nursery source, planting season. And these variables were subject to one way and over within each plus to determine the factor influencing the survival rate of the plant, uh, planted trees and shrubs. This is according to Kenji 2000. Uh, Tree survival analysis was carried out by getting plus survival rate, uh, where number of trees and shrubs alive was divided by number of trees, shrubs, and pl uh, planted multiplied by 100. Also, tree health analysis was also carried out, rating the, the, res I mean, the result of the plot, good, fair, and poor, based on number of tree shrubs alive, broken, or dead, standing, dead leaning, dead falling, or stem defect with fungus in open or closed wound, blight or canker of the trees, according to LEAVE 2021. Also, tree diversity index was also carried out according to Shannon diversity uh, index formula to, to determine the Evenness and the uh, total number of uh, species uh, uh, habitat uh, as species richness in the plot established, and they were ranged from zero to one. Also, invasive plants were identified in each plot and documented across the plot. Also, this is one of the one of my activities with leaf by moving the sapling. Uh, supply by the nursery to the plant, planting spot. The result, as can be seen from this uh, table, the uh, overall plot established is 35, and uh, is 35, uh, and eight pub, uh, public park sites in three municipal. Uh, 5,421 total number of trees and shrubs were established with 94% with 94% uh, survival rate and uh, diversity index of 0 0.9 uh, which implies that uh, there is uh, the diversity index of 0 0.9 is closer to 1 uh, according to the range from 0 to 1 0 0.9 is closer to 1 which implies that there is more diversity in the plots uh, established by leaf, and uh, the last column is this uh, some uh, number uh, all the trees uh, planted in the course of the planting activities. Uh, also, shrubs, shrubs are also uh, part. Um, shrubs uh, that were also planted were service berries and so on. Yeah, these tables. Uh, reveals the variables of tree species planted in your regions and uh, the variables out that influence the survival of the plant. According to the results of the one-way ANOVA carried out, 
none of the variables considered were found significant except supply and that is significant uh, at 90, 0 .03, 0 0.03, which is 97% level of significance of influencing survival rate of the plant. And uh, the, uh, uh, the non of uh, uh, significance all of all these variables is uh, is in contrary to the expectation of the planting practices of leaf. Why the sapling eye that is significant is uh, is in line with the study of Gronicle 2012, which uh, considered the uh, uh, considered planting of large sapling and it, the results, uh, which results in the low survival of of the planted plots. Uh, this is the cultural practices and presence of invasive species between 2020 and 2022 in York region. And out of the 35 plots, nine plots, invasive species were recorded in nine plots. Why, I, I, according to the cultural practices, uh, all, the, all the plots were merged and uh, not all were, only just few plots were, uh, were watered after planting. Uh, going by each year activities uh, across the region, in 2020 at Richmond Hill, uh, seven plots were established in three in three park, park sites, and uh, 1,000 out of 1,617 tr uh, trees and shrubs planted, 83 percent were uh, is the survival rate. While the, the minimum survival rate was recorded at the minimum survival rate was recorded at a Umba Flat Echo Park with a 66% survival rate, and the uh, status of the tree, had, uh, the tree head status of the of the plot was rated poor. Also at uh, Elgin West, the trees uh, the uh, status of the tree head planted at the plot was also rated plot. In 2021, two, uh, uh, 15 plots was established at two park sites at Richmond Hill. Uh, 1,500 was planted and 92% survival rate was recorded with a minimum of 86% survival rate recorded at Toba Park and the, I, the three head status of all these 15 plots were rated good. Why in the, the last, uh, in 2022, this is one year after, uh, 13 plots were established across six park sites in, in three municipal, 2,304 2, 2, uh, plants were established and 96% uh, was recorded here. Uh, the the three A status of all these plots established were be, uh, were rated fair, good, and uh, poor. Here is uh, where uh, demonstration of planting practices is uh, is shown to the community volunteers pa participating in tree planting activities. Conclusion: The uh, achieving the objective one and two of this result of this study, over three years of events, five thousand four hundred twenty-one trees and shrubs were planted by leaf, with eight with eight different woody species densely planted in uh, thirty-five plus across eight cities. Uh, leaf city uh, leaf CTP approach to naturalization across. York region is advancing with minimum average tree survival recorded in at Richmond Hill Park site in 2020. Sampling height was found significant, affected by survival, while others uh, factors, other variables did not. Uh, an average di diversity index for woody plants was the same across the year in all the city. And it can be concluded that there is more diversity in the tree uh, and shrub established by leaf 
across the region. Uh, also, by their practice, not all plots were water, but they were much, which resulted in fewer invasive species in Richmond Hill, recorded uh, fewer invasive species identified in Richmond Hill and known at King and uh, Markham, Markham City. As a result, not all, pl all plots had a good tree head, and a few had a only fear. participated together in the tree planting activities. Uh, in glasses is my steward coordinator, Sarah. Uh, recommendation. Based on, the, on this work for tree planted by leaf between 2020 and 2022, across, selected, uh, across uh, the York region, uh, I encourage uh, leaf are encouraged to continue planting uh, events with community participation Practices, adequate monitoring, planting should be based, should be designed in a plot basis, but instead should not be designed in a plot basis, but instead in an experimental way, whereby there can be adequate monitoring of the, uh, of the tree and shrub planted. Uh, also, smaller uh, sapling eyes should be used by, by, for planting, as they can withstand environmental stress like drought. Watering should be uh, ensured to promote root growth in the topsoil as part of a new techniques if uh, adopted by leaf. Also, invasive species need to be managed to ensure better established planted trees. Uh, acknowledgement, I want to thank uh, leaves for releasing their data and uh, for uh, allowing me to participate in the uh, planting event. And I lost uh, the, uh, most especially the manager of CTP, Brian Millward, uh, as my external supervisor online. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Professor Sandy Smith for his uh, uh, entire efforts to engage me every week, all through the semesters in making sure I have a successful uh, capstone paper write-up. Uh, I want to thank uh, Professor Sally Christine right from my day one uh, to get admission for this program uh, and uh, quite a number of uh, professors, other faculty members. Uh, I also I want to thank my MFC co-ops this year. Uh, you are highly <laughs> recognized and uh, my, all, all, everybody as my friend, Yako, Jack, to mention both few. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Okay, um, Brian, I'll let you ask the first question if you're online. Sounds good, thank you. Just making sure that everyone can hear me over there okay. Yep, we can hear you. Great. First off, I just wanted to congratulate you, Dele, on an amazing uh, project and a great presentation. And I also, I know I've said this many times, extend a massive amount of gratitude to you for all of the work and support you provided to our planting events this fall. Uh, there were some photos in there that showed how much work Delhi contributed to our efforts, but we couldn't have all of those trees and shrubs go in the ground if it wasn't for him and all of the incredible work he did with those community members. Um, my question is, you mentioned Dele that you would advise LEAF to approach our monitoring with a more experimental uh, design uh, with the way we create our plots. Um, if money and time and resources weren't an issue, what sort of factors would you recommend that LEAF focus on if we were given the opportunity to design an experiment that sort of looked at survivability of our trees and shrubs? Uh, thank you very much for the questions. Uh, yeah, the, by way of uh, recommending uh, more robust and uh, well um, designed experimenter, it, this will give uh, LEAF uh, a good monitoring uh, pattern, especially the trees, because the trees and shrub, the trees planted. When the if there is fond, as you said, 
the trees are planted in an experimental way. The experimental, there is an experimental design. There is a block for all these trees uh, planted. There, there can be specific monitoring ways for uh, each trees planted. Like when there is uh, an, uh, a disease affecting a particular species, you'll be able to you'll be able to identify, okay, this particular area design for these particular trees with, uh, with affected uh, diseases can be eliminated. For example, like ash, uh, a -E -A -E EAB that has been I mean, discussed in this capstone project, when there is a, a, a particular, when there is a, a situation there, there is occurrence of that disease. It can be monitored monitor adequately when there is enough funding for this uh, project. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions from Brian? No, thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. All right. There is a question from someone online, which is, are there any future plans to revisit the fair or poor sites and replant those areas? Yes. Uh, during the well, my participation with LEAF, we do revisit the site and uh, Especially, I was involved. We go around DTAs to merge, and in that, oh, uh, the pictures I saw one of the picture. I mean, the plant that has probably pulled out by maybe dog or we replanted. There is always such an occurrence. I mean, situation where we visit and uh, monitor, and that is why I also further encourage and uh, uh, recommend that the monitoring should be continued. And another area where I want uh, leave to work on is the watering of the, the tree planted. This is because the arrangement between leaves and uh, uh, during my participation, we only plant the trees. Uh, though the municipal supplied mulching materials before our arrival, and we mulch all the trees, but the watering is not in our presence and they promise the leaves that they are going to water the, uh, the, the tree planted, which the true monitoring, I mean, leaves you ensure that that is done. Okay, thank you. Any questions from anyone in the audience here? Yep, Sean, one sec. Uh, interesting information. I, uh, Thank you. you probably will need a, a little bit more help with the, the statistical analysis to make sure everything is, is kind of adding up there, right? It's a, ANOVA is probably not the way to go, but, uh, uh, you've got, you know, either things are alive or dead. Uh, but the thing I was very impressed with is just the success of this program, having these, 98% kind of survivorship rates is, is extraordinary. And there's other things, you know, around here that see survivorship of, you know, less than half, uh, commonly. So wh why, why, you know, what, wh how, what do you attribute that to? Clearly you don't have say problems with voles or other mammals that are, destroying things but what 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 exactly do you think they're doing that's that's giving these incredible survivorship rates thank you uh i think one of the thing i think leaves are doing is uh number one they were very organized and uh, very proactive in all the all the activities is do is uh in planting process is itemized and uh they are organized in such a way that all the steps are followed strictly during even right from the training we are given and even the training we are passing across to the to the, the volunteers the community people that uh, participated and uh, also uh, 
after planting at after planting at the end of the day, we go around, stay behind to make sure, like uh, we do something like a uh, pool test to ensure that the trees were actually rooted in the in the ground, and we go around like. This year we planted over 1,800 trees. And at the end of each day of the planting activities, we make sure in each day we plant nothing less than 300. There is a weekend we planted 500. And at the end of the day, we go around to do the pool test to ensure that uh, the trees are well rooted. And uh, I mean, something cannot just pull the tree. So I believe with this, practices and uh, activities, it's uh, responsible for high uh, percentage of survival. Okay, thank you. We have time for one, oh, okay, two more questions. Hi, I was, I <laughs> I was curious about the, the title, use the word naturalization. Um, and so my question is, in, in these areas that are being planted, um, naturalization has a very sort of strong connotation to me, or not a negative connotation, but it brings a very strong image. Um, so my question is kind of twofold, but one is how would you determine that one project has reached its sort of completion to it's been successfully naturalized? And related to that is how does that reflect on the monitoring? So how many years would you monitor and what kind of metrics would you recommend that LEAF monitors in order to achieve project success? Thank you very much. Yes, uh, with that questions, actually the trend of monitoring tree uh, according to the reference is usually one year, two years and five years. Uh, and, but with these re studies and the report is just between one and two. And that is why uh, uh, in adequate, adequate monitoring and also by my recommendation in carrying out uh, uh, experimental ways of doing research, it will help to, by the time it is five years, it's when there is an adequate way of, uh, of establishing the plot, it's going to help by the time it is five years. So by way of your question, asking the matrix between the success. So if uh, it is, uh, if the, uh, the plot is, I mean, the planting of the trees is established in an experimental way, it's going to help them to monitor the, the plot after five years. So there is, the monitoring still continue, but so far with what we, with what uh, the with the indices used in the measure the survivor, that is why we can still have success so far. But it still continue after two years. They still have the they still monitor the trees like the one monitor for one year. By the time it is two years, they're still going back there to do the evaluation of the success of the trees and shrub planted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.